Today I'm with Greg Fenton from Zentech. And Greg, I missed you at PDAC. How did I miss you? What were you up to? Hi, Tracy. Thanks. Uh, thanks for having me this morning. Yeah, I was at PDAC for one day last week. Zentech did have a contingent uh, go down to PDAC and spend most of the uh, three or four days down there early last week. I was down for Monday. We had a number of meetings scheduled. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to swing by your booth as most of my day was uh, was tied up with these meetings. And then I was off to Washington to talk about the Albany deposit, very timely as well, critical minerals, uh, rare earths, lots and lots of interest south of the border. Uh, it's been all over the news lately, as you know. So yeah, it was an absolutely crazy week last week, but probably one of the best weeks that I can remember, particularly with PDAC and just the level of excitement around where we are in, uh, in the cycle. Well, I couldn't agree with you more. We actually gave it a 10 out of 10 and said it was the best PDAC I've attended in over two decades. Um, speaking of that, the audience was just talking critical minerals, a lot of critical minerals. There was gold, but then there were critical minerals and graphite was brought up over and over and over again. So of course we thought about you because Albany graphite is one of the most extraordinary graphite deposits in, well, in the world. Can you provide an update with what's happening with the Albany graphite deal? Sure. Thank you, Tracy. And I know you know this deposit very, very well, uh, given our relationship going back over a decade. Yeah, Albany uh, here is located in Ontario. We have proven up uh, 1.3 million tons. Uh, it's open at depth. So we, uh, we've only drilled down to about 625 meters. We were still in graphite. Um, we did a PEA back in 2015. We updated the mineral resource in 2023. But most excitingly about the Albany graphite deposit is the, the news that we put out over the last couple of months. And that was being able to achieve five nines purity. So that's getting to 99.999 plus percent purity and doing it in a really, really simple uh, two stage approach. So there's a beneficiation stage to get us to 86% and then a simple heat process to remove the remaining contaminants to get us to five nines. I'm not aware of any other project in the world that's able to get to five nines purity and do it in such an environmentally and we think going to be a cost-effective manner. And this is a deposit that's located in central Ontario. So we have lots of graphite. It's the highest quality graphite. It was actually formed in a magmatic event. So it actually came up from the earth's mantle rather than through a sedimentary process. So it's, it's uh, one of the rarest forms. It's one of the, now we're able to demonstrate we can get it to be one of the purest forms. So it actually opens up the highest value markets for the graphite being the nuclear markets, the military markets, and of course the lithium ion battery markets, but we're able to do it very, very effectively, at least the initial data is supporting that. So we're very, very happy with where we are with respect to the Albany graphite deposit and, and can't wait to see where it goes in uh, 2025. Well, one of the pivotal points for me at PDAC was that I actually ran into individuals from Silicon Valley talking about bringing the Silicon Valley into the critical mineral sector. But of course, you've been kind of ahead of the curve all along in that you are also a technology company. Would you like to provide an update on what's happening with the Zentech technology having to do with your filters and your air masks, for instance? Sure, Tracy, thank you for that question. So as it turns out, the one of the reasons I, I was uh, only able to spend one day at PDAC last week was I had uh, a full schedule down in Washington, D.C., meeting with a number of members of Congress to talk about the Albany graphite deposit and the strategic importance of that deposit for the U.S. military complex and just as a strategic mineral in, in general, but also to talk about Zentech and some of the, the technologies that we have. And specifically, as you just alluded to, the uh, antimicrobial coating we've, uh, we've developed for HVAC filters. And again, we, we've announced over the, the last uh, couple of months that we will be commercializing the, the HVAC filters, these Zengar coated HVAC filters, 
beginning at the end of uh, the first quarter of 2025, so the end of March, which we're absolutely ecstatic about. It's been a long road and a long process, but we are there. We are now in the process of beginning that commercialization. And we will be looking to bring that technology into the U.S. market. We've we've got an application in with the EPA. We talked to Congress about that application this week when we were there. And uh, we'll see where that goes. But uh, there is a smile on my face for a reason. This is a very, very exciting time for Zentech for a number of reasons, being the Albany deposit and our technologies being commercialized. So if I hear you properly... What I do understand is you guys are looking at actual like revenue. Is that correct? By the end of March? That is correct. We we anticipate, I have to be careful, I uh, uh, talking about future looking statements, et cetera. But we announced that we will be commercializing by the end of the first quarter to, to early adopters. And we have not made any public statements to the contrary. So that is still intact. And it's... Uh, probably the most exciting time in the history of Zentech, other than maybe us developing and receiving a patent for our antimicrobial coating. But this is the culmination of, of all of that work that we've done now getting that into the market. So yes, we do anticipate uh, uh, being commercial by the end of the, the first quarter. Well, that certainly sounds exciting to me, having watched Zentech for a number of years and following your story. This seems like a success just a major success formula that you're announcing. Now, what should we anticipate, say, in the next month or two in addition to that? So I would say you'll you'll see the, the ramp up of the commercialization effort. Uh, we do have a number of other projects on the go as well, other technologies that we have been moving ahead in the background. We will be making additional announcements with respect to that specifically on the biotech side as well. We have uh, we announced that we received a, uh, an ISC, Innovation Solutions Canada grant, and we've been working diligently to produce a, an aptamer or a therapeutic for H5N1, the bird flu. So we will be making announcements uh, on that in the coming months as well. So we're, we're, we're very, very excited about where we are as a company, the technologies we're developing, and most importantly, the commercialization. And again, the, the Albany situation, the interest in the critical mineral space, obviously we've got rare earths associated with it now that we announced as well. So it's just a really, really exciting time to be a Zentech shareholder. Well, for those of you out there interested in learning more, which I encourage you to do, please go to the following website. And Greg, it's as always, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy.